The first step for somebody to become a Muslim is to take the Shahada. So what is Shahada and what does it mean? Today we explore this question. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, peace be upon you all. The first thing that a Muslim does when he joins Islam is that he takes the Shahada. Shahada is bearing witness. What does he need to say? He says, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. Ashhadu is, I bear witness. An la ilaha illallah, I bear witness that there is no ilah other than Allah. Wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan rasulullah, and I bear witness that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his slave and messenger. He needs to say it not just by the tongue, but also by his heart and his mind. It means that he is convinced with what is there. The first thing that it is a shahada, it is bearing witness. And when you bear witness to something, it is not just a matter of being convinced. It's like when you bear witness in a court of law in front of a judge. He tells you, um, are you the witness? Of this defendant you say yes I am his witness I saw him that other day in that place so he couldn't have been in the crime scene so as a witness it is not just a matter of conviction it is as if you have seen it with your own eyes you are the evidence of the person who is using you as witness so what is it that you bear witness to and how come you are the very evidence for it is the question the first part says i bear witness that there is no ilah other than allah and ilah is god deity master lord most importantly the one true god who is worthy of worship because a god is not a god unless he is worshipped. And this is a very specific meaning of the word ilah in Arabic. Ilah means somebody or something that is worshipped. So there is no true God who is worthy of worship other than Allah. But then the question is, what is worship? Worship, as we have said before, is to follow somebody's instruction to follow somebody's guidance to follow because you believe that he is worthy of following without questioning each and every single decision so let me give you an example you buy a car from a car manufacturer and the manufacturer would give you the manual that has the operating instructions and the maintenance instructions once you authenticate that this manual is written by the manufacturer of the car you will not question each and every line and each and every instruction and each and every maintenance and operational procedure. You authenticate that the one who has given you the manual is the manufacturer and that the manual is authentic and then you follow it. When you bear witness that there is only one God worthy of worship who is Allah, you are saying that you yourself is not only convinced of this, but you will be the evidence for it. It means that this is the way that you will lead your life. That you will consider his law to be the same supreme law, his authority to be the supreme authority, and the priorities that he sets for your life are of the top, top priority. That you will conduct yourself in the way that he ordains. And when you do this, when somebody looks at you, when somebody watches your behavior, when somebody looks at what you consider to be supreme, you will be the evidence yourself. Just like when you bear witness for somebody in a court of law, you are his evidence. But then the question is, how would I know what are those instructions that I will need to follow? And this is what the second part of the Shahada does, because 
you also bear witness that Prophet Muhammad in specific is his slave and his messenger. So you acknowledge that the message that he has received, which is the Quran, is the instruction manual, metaphorically, that has been received from the creator of this universe, just like the instruction manual that is received from the manufacturer of the car. But you also acknowledge that you will receive this message through him. And you acknowledge that he is God's slave. And what does slave mean? Somebody would like to um, translate Abduhu as like his servant or his worshipper. But they are really, all of them, different facets for the same meaning. It means that he himself will conduct himself according to the message that he is delivering. So he himself is the first witness. He himself is the evidence on the ground for the lordship and kingship and worthiness of worship of Allah who has sent him the message. And this has great impact on the life of the believer in the life of a Muslim. Because the message that is a set of words delivered in a book or a message are now materialized into a complete life, 23 years of delivering the message by the Prophet, not just delivering it orally, but living it. Living it in terms of showing us how to pray, how to fast, how to pay alms, how to do pilgrimage, but also how to behave and how to conduct ourselves versus our children, our wife, our parents, our family, our friends, how to buy and to sell, how to go to court, how to be polite to each other, when to be angry, when to be happy, what to eat, what to drink, what not to eat and what not to drink. How to conduct ourselves in peace and in war, how to have relations with other people and with other cultures and with other countries. This becomes the prescription. The standing material evidence of how a person can be God's servant, God's worshipper and God's slave. And how a Muslim can then use the life of the Prophet as the complement of the message that the Prophet has delivered. And when you do this, at your best effort, even when you make a mistake, you will repent and return to God according to the way that he has prescribed in his message. When you do this, you have borne witness and you become the evidence and you have delivered your shahada. Thank you for listening to this. Please like, share and subscribe and see you again in another session about knowing Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa